today you are going to join me on a journey, a six decade journey of love, where two people have taken on the world together. And throughout all the ups and downs, they have remained always ahead, always ahead in relationships. This is the story of KP and Indira. Many say that KP is a DLF, a damned lucky fellow. But his luckiest moment was when he met Indira. So today on their diamond anniversary, let's take a journey down memory lane. So pause while I gather my thoughts and collect my memories to begin the tale. Rightfully, this story begins with KP's family. His parents, Chowdhury, Muktiar Singhji and Ram Piyari, and his elder sister, Bikram Devi. They were the foundations of the man we know today. Indira was born into the family of Savitri and Chowdhury Raghavendra Singhji. In fact, it was Chowdhury who planted the seed that made me. Where you sit today is where he used to sit and dream. He had a dream for Delhi to set about making it a reality. KP took this dream forward into the NCR. With the third generation Rajiv completing the transformation of the skyline. and the fourth now stepping in as well, to add a new dimension and strength to the organization. Let's rewind from the Delhi skyline to the British skyline. where KP was a happy bachelor and a hit with all the ladies. He went on to enter the army, where he learned the art of discipline and how to inspire and lead. But even the most accomplished soldier meets his match, and KP met his during a cricket match. It was his first meeting with Indira. There and then, he was quite bowled over. The captain and his wife were posted to Kashmir. It was here that their magical bond formed and grew. And when KP forsook the army for a new career in horse breeding, opening up an exciting new jet-setting world of polos and parties,
Indira was equal to the task. Stepping in effortlessly to be the perfect partner. But clearly the testing time was when life took a complete U-turn. KP took on the challenge of rebuilding the DLF business. Soon they were blessed with three lovely children and as they grew, so did the love between husband and wife. The children were encouraged to be strong and independent and soon they were forging ahead in the world too, with partners, families and careers of their own. Today they have their own children. And KP and Indira's journey of love has come a blessed full circle. There have been great moments and memories along this journey. KP getting the Padma Bhushan. That was such a proud milestone. A man getting honoured by the nation he's helping to build. Behind every successful man, they say there is a woman. 7,000 feet above sea level, KP and Indira fell in love again. This time, with a beautiful estate in Missouri. Lindale is almost like a second family home now. One they love to retreat to often. Alas, it's not always been fun and games, you know. When Indira's sister, Prem, passed away, I cried. And when the copter crash happened, I almost died. But they say love always emerges stronger than ever. KP, the doctor, brought Indira back to life with his determination and grit, while she, on her part, fought back bravely, like a warrior. Soon they were back with Augusto. KP became the author. Now the world can read his story. Sixty years of life through thick and thin. Uncanny ability to adjust and adapt to face adversity and a unique compatibility built on a rock-solid bed of love and togetherness. These are the magical keystones of Indira and KP's journey. <laughs>